What is the difference between research questions and research objectives? This is a question that we will briefly respond to in this presentation. So first of all, um, generally research questions and research objectives um, are often central and integral to the process of initiation and conduct of research studies. There are a variety of views related to the interpretation and definitions of research questions and uh, research objectives. For example, one view is that research questions and research objectives are pretty similar con concepts. And so there is a good deal of overlapping uh, in these concepts. The other one is that research questions and research objectives are quite distinct and very different concepts. Thirdly, um, there is the question of uh, uh, whether research questions are a subset of research objectives. Um, and then there are others uh, where they ask where whether research questions are a superset of research objectives, or in other words, research objectives come out of research questions. Um, to my understanding, generally research questions are bigger questions around which the whole research process uh, should revolve. And so, on the other hand, research objectives are more specific and they are narrower in terms of the aims of research. And so we can say, we can also say that an achievement of uh, the research objectives will ultimately result in finding answers to our broader or central research questions. So in this sense, we can say that research questions are bigger um, uh, in comparison to research objectives. And when we formulate research objectives and then achieve research objectives, we are actually trying to find answers to our bigger research questions. So um, here are some examples of uh, research questions and research objectives. Generally, so as I have the contention that research questions are bigger, um, questions and research objectives are then a subset of research questions that can then ultimately uh, help in finding answers to our research questions. Here is a bigger research question. Uh, what is the impact of teaching methods on secondary school students' academic achievement? And so in order to respond to this question, we can formulate certain a set of objectives. Um, and so these objectives, for example, are number one, to explore the various teaching methods used by secondary school teachers. Second, to measure secondary school students' academic achievement. And third, to find out possible relationship of secondary school teachers' teaching methods and secondary school students' academic achievement. So if we achieve these three objectives through the process of our research, uh, we will be able to answer our bigger research question. Now, here is another example uh, related to uh, social sciences in another field. And so the bigger question is, what factors, for example, contribute to frequent floods in South Asia? In order to answer, to find answer to this bigger question, uh, one set of research objectives that we can formulate that will ultimately help us in uh, finding answer to this question include these three uh, research objectives. So the first one is to identify geographical factors that contribute to frequent flood floods in South Asia. Two, to analyze demo uh, demographic factors that contribute to frequent floods in South Asia. And third, to explore geopolitical factors that contribute to frequent floods in South Asia. So we can see again that by uh, if we achieve these three objectives through our data collection and analysis and through 
designing our research in line with the achievement of these objectives, we will be able to answer our bigger research question, which is uh, what factors contribute to frequent floods in South Asia? And um, here is a last um, another example. Uh, so the big question or the research question is what are graduate research students' perceptions about the meaning, process, and aims of research? Uh, so here the researcher is interested in, uh, in uh, finding answer to the question. And the question is uh, what are the perception or what are the views of uh, graduate research students um, about the meaning, the process, and aims of research. And so in order to find answer to, uh, a possible answer to this question, <clears throat> um, here are um, a set of research objectives that will help uh, in terms of finding answer to that question. And so the first one is uh, to explore graduate research students' perceptions about the meaning of research to analyze graduate research students' understanding regarding the general process of research, and thirdly, to find out the graduate research students' perceptions about the aims of research. So as we can see that, um, so we can conclude that research questions are bigger questions, um, that uh, the, the, research, the whole research process revolves around uh, the research question, and the research objectives are then actually to um, find ways to find answers to our research questions. So in that sense, we can say that research objectives are a subset or an offshoot of our bigger research questions.